doesn't love a luxurious bed? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today is gonna be a very special day. It's gonna be all about my bedroom. I don't know if you're like me, you struggle with finding exactly what you want and the price range that you want it. So I love to change my furniture, I love to change my looks. I get bored easily, quick, tired of things, tired of the same color, tired of the same old stuff. So I do like to change up things often. So I wanted to turn my bedroom into more of a luxurious feel. But I didn't want to go light. Like I just had a like white comforter. And so I wanted to go darker. I wanted to go for like a dark sexy look. Um, kind of more manly but not like too manly. But I wanted it to be like luxurious and glam. So that was my goal with changing up my bedroom. So today I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. How I transformed my bedroom into a more luxury and glam bedroom. And it's also kind of sexy. It's like a, it's a sexy feel. So that was the goal for today. So I'm going to show you and share along with you some of the things that I got. What my mindset was of reaching it and how I did it. Okay, so let's get started. So there's a few things that you wanna do to give your bedroom that luxurious feel. And one, you wanna make sure you have a really, really, really nice headboard or bed frame. Um, I had been looking for a bed frame that was gray and upholstered for a very, very, very long time. And I ran across this bed on a deal. It was at a discount home furniture store. So I only paid like $125 for it. And yes, there's something wrong with it. Like there was a piece broken. But honestly, guys, I put a book up under there and it looks level. It's just fine. And I'm fine and okay with that. But it's the exact bedroom frame that you can get from Ashley's. And I'll link it below because I've been looking for a very, very long time. Another piece that you want to make sure to have to give you that hotel type of bed is a really 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 good mattress that is going to number one give you a good night's sleep and you want that if you want a luxe bed if you want that bed like you do in a hotel room you have to invest in a really really nice mattress and what i did was i changed my sheets to a gray set of sheets and i'll try to link as much things as i can if i can find exactly what i got if i can i'll link something similar but these are egyptian a thousand thread count sheets your thread count is very very important if you want a nice a luxurious bed because you want it to be very comfortable the higher the thread count the softer it is and the more comfortable it would be i also purchased this quilt it's a dark gray quilt that i got and the thing i really like about this quilt is that it's not thick it's not thick guys it's like here in atlanta it's september and it's still really hot so i didn't want anything thick or too warm I needed something very light and something I can wash because I have two dogs. So that's another reason why I want to go darker, shows that start um, easier to keep clean. But I needed something very light because me and my husband, we get hot at night like most people do in the summer. So I love this uh, quilt. It's not a heavy quilt. Again, it's perfect for summer and fall. So I got the gray quilt and it came with two pillowcases. And another tip you want to make sure to incorporate for a luxe bed is to get you some really nice pillows. Pillows accentuates a bed. It definitely adds a piece of elegance, a piece of glam. You want to always add more pillows, whatever type of bed you want to go for. So since I'm going for a glam and um, luxe bed, I wanted to incorporate a number of textures. And not just one color, but a, di a few different colors, a few different textures. So what I went with was, I went with some furs, I went with some silvers and metallics, as well as some velvet. All of those give me that really nice, luxurious feel. But I wanted my euros and fur. I could not find any fur pillowcases for my euros. 
that was one the right size and two the right texture and three the right color I could not find and I looked everywhere so what I ended up doing was I did DIYs <laughs> you, know, you guys if you follow me you know I'm a huge DIY person you know so because I actually wanted to buy this stuff because I wanted to do it quick but I couldn't find it so I ended up going to a fabric shop which was Joanna's and I found this fur that was in dark gray and light gray which was perfect for me because it matches both the setting that I want which was a darker color but it also adds in a little lighter color to match my headboard and I to me found it to be perfect a perfect blend it wasn't just one color because again I didn't want to just do one color I wanted to um, do a few colors so that it's not so boring and so dull so when I found this fur I thought it was perfect so I ended up doing my own pillowcases with hot glue yes hot glue it's a no so pillowcase I tell you guys this is so easy it's so easy I mean will it hold up five years from now I don't know probably not <laughs> seriously but I changed my bed probably two times a year if not more um, like I like to do a winter bed and then a summer bed at least so I just needed to get me through the winter so this was perfect no so hot glued it together came together very nicely it was so easy and it was actually cheaper had I bought the pillowcases because some pillowcases that I found in fur that was gray that was 24 by 24 which were my euros they were like 20 to 40 dollars each cover and I'm like, are you kidding me? For three would have put me at 60 to like over a hundred dollars. I'm not paying that for some pillowcases. Oh, please. But yeah, I was able to get the fabric on sale and use the coupon and I got, I think all the fabric for about 30 bucks. So, and it's fur, that's why it was more expensive and it's really nice fur. It wasn't the cheap stuff, guys. It was actually the expensive stuff and with all the coupons it came down so it's um yeah so if you divide that by three it's ten dollars pillowcase you know with some hot glue so i found it to be perfect and then i also found these metallic pillows from tj maxx that i absolutely adored and i thought they were so glam i was like yes this is perfect because again i'm going for different textures different colors to give me that sexy feel so i got those from tj maxx and then the last pillow i topped it with i got also from tj maxx and it's in velvet it's a velvet pillow which i also love i really love and it's in dark gray So the last element I added to the bed was a fur throw at the end of my bed. I love this as well. I got this from TJ Maxx and it was dark gray and it's very soft. And like I said, add you some furs in that just instantly upgrades your bed to a glam or luxe bed. So furs is a must have if you want to have that luxe feel. So the next thing I did, I also switched out my lamps. I got some new lamps from Ross, um, and they have like crystals in them, and I thought they were just perfect. So I bought two of those and switched out my old lamps with them. And then I also bought some more storage boxes for my dressers so that you can let me tell you guys, if you want to keep your nightstands clear, your dresses clear, buy you some storage cases that are really cute and you can just throw everything you need in there. So like it can be as junk as it want inside of it, but at least the, the top of your nightstand stays free and clear of junk and you can throw everything in the big old box and be done. So these were perfect. I believe I got the bronze texture one from Tuesday morning and then I bought the other big mirror one from Burlington's. Also adding flowers to your nightstands, dressers will definitely up your level 
if you notice this acrylic flowered um, base with these white roses in them if you don't remember this previously it was a DIY video I actually created this and it did not take long at all there's a video I will link below if you want to check that out it's very inexpensive and easy to do um, and then this other flower I is another DIY I literally just put together like right now in five minutes it was I bought the base from Dollar Tree and I got the flowers from Michaels and Michaels always have coupons like you can use so many coupons there like it's ridiculous and they their flowers actually look really real I love the texture of them so I just put these three hydrangeas together and they came out just perfect I threw them in the base and that's it it flower arrangements does not have to be extravagant guys it doesn't have to be expensive it doesn't have to be super difficult or complicated you just want an element of flowers to add to a room and um, that's a simple easy add to take any room to the next level to some really nice flowers white preferably but you can get any color you want um, or you can mix any type of flower you want so all of those tips gives you a glam feel and gives you a luxe feel this is my end result and i absolutely love it i love the textures it's different everybody's doing light rooms you know i've done the lights but i wanted to go like sexy glam luxe feel so i decided to do a deeper darker gray and add in some textures and i love the results i absolutely love it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I so appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed, be sure to do that as well because I share everything lifestyle. So from fashion and beauty to do-it-yourself and home decor, I got you covered. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next video. Today, I come to you about my bedroom. I went for that dark, smoky, gray look, if you can see. These pillows I made, I got from, I got the material from Joanne's. You're so funny. <laughs> it's going to be all about my bedroom. Really?